And now we're going to look at the finals, um, Vialva versus Rea of Chat Tournament 39. This is all rules in effect, same plus, same wall, plus wall, and combo. Um, first turn is... I don't know. I saw the start of this game. I think Vialva has first turn this game. And Vialva is blue, and Rea is red. So just quickly looking for kind of like safety of starters, 9A42 is a bit covered, but can also be recaptured by A744. Not exactly the recapture you want, but maybe a good enough one here. No, no, it's ugly. Because for instance, if a 9A42 and 7, 25A8 captures, a744 and 8 recaptures, then 755A and 9 is actually safe to your remaining hand, and that's going to be a pretty uncomfortable position. So okay, you don't have great recaptures there. There's also starting with a A943 and 7, um, but maybe you don't really want a rightward game. It just looks a little uncomfortable. Those A9 corners feels like I want one out of my hand, but I'm, I don't see a, a great way to do it. Because we have three corner cards for seven, arguably four. So maybe the answer is a bit like what Tezuka tried to do against Vialva last game, and just chuck something in three, and just say, I have enough power facing that, that this must be a, a good move to make. You probably keep A744, I think that's doing the most unique things for your hand on this board, um, but maybe chuck one of the other two and three. I don't know. Let's see what was done. He goes one, which does not have the recapture. So Rhea can take that. He's just sacking that. I don't quite see where the compensation is. I think if you're Rea here, it's important to capture this. Obviously, 2-5-A-8 cannot capture it. But if you are going to capture it, it's important to capture it not using 2-5-A-8 or 7-5-5-A. The game's going to be really leftward out of this. We also have to avoid big setups in 8. But big setups in 8 are hard to manufacture here. But we see some. For instance, A-8-1-6-4. Could potentially be met by 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8, which sets up A9, 4, 3, and 5, as well as A7, 4, 4, and 7, and that does look like it should favor Vialva. That's that's a dangerous setup. So we can probably rule out A8, 1, 6 because of the combo potential, and that leaves us with 5, 6, A6, which is immediately comboed back, and 9, 4, 9, 5, is there a setup against 9495? There's those two fours to the left that look easier to set up, but I don't think either of them can be. Um, there is 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8. There is 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8. It's a little scary. So actually, um, Vialva has this pretty well covered, because if you have to use 755A, which again, it's possible that has setups against it too, but I don't see them. Um, then suddenly you've lost your big advantage that you have a sweeper going to the left. So I am not sure how you want to attack this. I think in general, when someone plays a kind of sack starter like this, you usually do want to take it. And if you don't take it, you usually want to set up against the strong side so that you threaten to take it later, but you also have the capture in two if needed, and you set up in such a way that your opponent does not share that capture. So there might be a case for something like, uh, but 9, 4, 9, 5, and 3, there's the shared capture, because that gives up 7, 9, 7, 4. And A to the left gives up a card I really don't want to give up. I really think 7, 5, 5, A is important here. Um, 2, 5, A, 8, you don't have the recapture in 3. Uh, sorry, in 6, and you need the recapture in 6 if you're going to play 3 there. Hmm. Weird. I 
think this just about makes sense. It's even working, like, if you look a little further, right? If you play something like, say we play 9, nine 4, 9, 5, and 4, and the Alva goes 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8, and you say, okay, I'm going to take the safe square. I'm going to play A8, 1, 6, and 7. The Alva, I think, has to take the combo, 2, 7, 7, A, in 5. Now, there's two moves here that jump to mind. No, but maybe he can't play in 5 there. Yeah, because 2, 5, A8 has both sides of that, has the combo from both 2 and 6. I was thinking that even at the end, you, uh, I, I wanted to play 7, 5, 5, A, and 9 at the end. Um, but 2, 7, 7, A, and 5, because normally the Alva's hand can't capture a 7 facing up. The 2, 7, 7, A, and 5 has set up A7, 4, 4, and 6. So there actually is coverage. But then there's 2, 5, A, 8 in, in 2 at the end. So maybe it does work. That is a complicated line to check all of. But I think a really important line here is 9, 4, 9, 5, and 4. I think that's the most logical way to capture. 7, 9, 7, 4, in 8. A, 8, 1, 6, in 7. 2, 7, 7, A, and 5. And then either... I'm not sure if we can take the combo immediately and when. It's possible we can't. No, we must be able to. They have no right power left. So, okay, 2, 5, A, 8, and 2 just wins the game there. Because it combos 5, 4, 1. Okay, so I think the move here is 9, 4, 9, 5, in 4. And it's played. Yeah. Because I think the setup in 8 does not work. Because 2, two 5 a 8 controls at 2, 5. Okay. The Alva bails out. I think this is a good decision. Um, now, Ray is definitely ahead here, right? He has a safe card on board. The Alva doesn't. The score is tied. And Ray has two things he can potentially attack. Um, so, he has a big choice. All of uh, two, five, or eight are viable moves. But I think this was a good practical decision from Bialva. I think it suggests the starter didn't quite work. It had a lot of combo potential against stuff, but just directionally he runs out of left power too easily for it to want the game on the left. Now he found a way to get a card that's bad going left out of his hand, but fundamentally he has to keep finding uses for cards that can't go left. And so whichever of two, five, or eight is best, is going to be the square that forces Ifrit out of the Alva's hand or doesn't give, you know, the other cards good uses. Now, if we look at 5 first, A8, 1, 6, and 5 is hard to trust given A744 or 7974 and 2 comboing everything. Similarly, uh, 2, 5, A8, and 5 looks scary. It's possible it works. Um, it is comboable by 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8, but you do have the combo back with 7, 5, 5, A, and 6. And it is, I guess, technically conceivable you win there, but I do not think you do. Um, 5, 6, A, 6 is a similar problem, except you don't have combos back. Oh, you do in 2, actually. But you also give up a combo in 2, right? 5, 6, A, 6, and 5, they can potentially play 2, 7, 7, A, and 2. But that you have the combo back with 2, 5, A, 8, 3. All right, 5, 6, A, 6, and 5. What's happening there? My point is we have the same in 2. So if 5, 6, A, 6, and 5... I mean, this is really playing with fire, right? Um, but if they go in 8 immediately, you go... 2 you go 2 and you're going to be up 7 3 um, they play 2 7 7 a and 3 you play a 1 6 and 6 you win uh, I don't really feel like taking the time to make sure I'm calculating this correctly. That looks promising. If they take the combo in two, you can combo back in 
three, but they combo back in eight, right? So say, what's our line? Five, six, a, six, five, two, seven, seven, a, two, two, five, a, eight, three, seven, nine, seven, four, eight. And you have, um, Yeah, there's no no sorry, you you played two, five, eight, and three. We have a same and six. A eight, one, six, and six is the same. So that line wins. It's possible five, six, six, A and five works, but it is uh very dangerous to go into a line where we need a lot of squares kept open. It is possible Vialva can play in, for instance, three. Uh three seems very logical from Vialva, and the reason I say that is Vialva wants to go in eight but we go in two. And Vialva wants to go in two, but we go in three. So after five, if Vialva goes in three, he makes a threat in two because we want to meet two with three. And if we go two, he gets to go in eight because we want to meet eight with two. So by going in three, he can sort of force the occupation of two and eight in a in an order that favors him. So I think five, six, six, five, six, a six, and five, the sort of logical thing is to go something in three. It has to be a744 because the other two cards are needed to create threats. So 56a65, a7443. And my guess is that that holds. That's my guess. Are we going to figure it out? Nah. We'll bring up the solver after. Um, there's also two and eight. Um, 755A in 8 walks into 7974 in 5. Importantly, it's that card, not 277A, because 277A, we'd have really good coverage with 25A8. And this leads us to 2, but which card fits in 2? Not super obvious. Uh, one instinct is 5-6-A-6, because 2-5-A-8 has the plus in 5. But that again can be comboed back through 8 in a way that's really uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't see a solution here. I think there's lots of appealing options. 5-6-A-6 and 5 looks still like the critical line to me. But uh, I'm curious what happened. All right, he goes 7, 5, 5, A, and 5. This sets up a combo in 8. I sort of discarded this as just I don't want to use this card. Um, it sets up a combo for Vialva, multiple combos in 2, but a combo for Ray A in 8. Okay. And Ray A leads 6, 4. It does give up safety in 8. So I think the, the default move for Vialva is block the combo in 8 and have a safe card. So like say 7, 9, 7, 4, and 8, does Ray have a win? If he goes 5, 6, A6 in 2, then 2, 7, 7, A in 3 is a tie. A744 and 9 are also a tie. But once I see a tie, I know it's not winning. I think this is an important part of calculus, is I'm not really scanning everything. I'm looking for a logical move. And if the move gets at least a tie, I know my idea is in winning. 7974 and 8. Yeah, that feels like it just holds. Let's see what happens. All right, he goes a different card. Okay, now I'm curious if my 7974 line was busted some way and it was needed to use this card. Um, this does keep up 7974 for 2, but 277A also worked in 2. Um, feels very weird to me to give up left power, but this might work just as well. It's also capturable, right? Now, I guess the point is 25A8 is com and 9 is comboed back by 7974 and 6, but... Oh, this seems unnecessary to me. Is there a win? I guess we'll find out if Rhea plays this. 
A6, A6, 2. Now Vialva has no captures, but 7, 9, 7, 4 is a good sweeper. Amusingly, A7, 4, 4, and 9 is not safe, but A8, 1, 6, if it takes it, gets comboed back. So this does look like Vialva has tied. Yeah, Vialva does go in 9, Ray does go in 6, and 7, 9, 7, 4 takes a card. Now, nah, that's what it's at. Okay, um, let's let's flip over to Mr. Solver. So Solver confirms this was a very difficult um, start for Vialva, and in fact, Ray is already winning after the start. He has two winning moves. Um, I don't understand this one. In fact, I'm going to have it confirmed for me that this is a win. Um, it just seems, I mean. Like, I can believe it wins, but I also think this would be very hard to find. I guess it helps that no move in four sets up anything. There isn't safety in three. If you want to capture it, you have to use your only left-facing card. But this would be a pretty remarkable winning move to find. The more believable win it suggests is this, which I immediately discarded. Ah, that is because I put the solver in wrong. I did not put in the rules right. Cool. I had it from the uh, the last game without the wall rules on. So, okay, ignore that. Uh, the reason it said something unbelievable is because I had put in the stuff wrong. It was literally unbelievable. So, okay, it will take it a sec to uh, evaluate this starter and this position. Uh, hopefully you have the right position on your screen. Just going to check that. Yeah, cool. So it'll take it a sec. Um, I was, I had paused the, I don't know, I didn't mean to put that there. I had paused the recording so I could set it up and have it start running so I'd know a little when I started talking so you wouldn't have to wait through this uh, filling empty air. But, you know, we screwed that up and now we're, now we're here. So I thought 9, 4, 9, 5, and 4 was the right reaction to this. And I was surprised that there were better moves. And I am pleased to report that so far at least... It hasn't found a better move. Um, now, with the wall rules off, it said that 27 of Vialva's 28 potential moves were losing, and it says so here as well. There is one tie in this position. What is the tie? Now, I think Vialva's A943 and 7 was a good bailout. So maybe we will find that he found the only save here after a very difficult starting position. I think that's very possible, because I don't think 8 worked. Yeah, Vialva found the only tie. Really nicely done. Um, and the idea of going in 8, which sets up 2-7-7-A seven, seven, both ways. You know, there is obvious appeal to this move. Uh, but I thought it lost to just a eight one six and 7. And apparently it lost to a whole bunch of things, including a eight one six and 7. Uh, yeah, and the line I gave was 2 7, seven a here, and then it took me a little to realize you'd run out of left power, but this is just trivially winning. Okay, so the Alpha fans finds the only tying move. Again, really tough spot out of the opening for Vialva, and I think he does a nice job bailing out. In general, I said this in a previous video, um, I talked about what do you do in these kind of positions when things are going wrong? Do you go for combinative play in 8? Do you kind of do something vaguely in the distance? There's not really a way to do so in this hand, maybe something like this or this, and hope that redirecting the game works. Do you kind of try to grab the safest or closest to safe square you can and keep your remaining cards hopefully facing the action? Or do you just lock in the card in one and two, which was is not an option here. This hand, this this isn't an option in that it was. But I think Vialva makes the right choice here and reaches a tied position. Now I thought the main line was here, though I thought this was very scary. There was only one tie here, and it is not in three. I thought this was probably enough to tie, and I was wrong. You can just go in 8. Ah, because the combo goes through 8. I missed this. 
right? Because when I combo in two, you actually, you can't combo back in six, but you now can combo back in nine. That's very pretty. Um, so I missed that at distance, but that's a, that's a very cute line. Eight is a very nice move here. Um, so I thought that was a logical move. The only tie is to take this in two. Ah, uh, it's the same idea. Two is met by three is met by eight. But this time you don't give up a combo at the end. So this is just a tie. Okay. So I didn't sequence it right, but uh, there is a tie there. All right. And what was played in the game was um, this in five, which gives up five ties. So this was not a particularly high pressure move. Um, Fialva's move in eight ties, my move in eight ties, Every card in eight ties, nine ties, that's a little more surprising, and six ties. Really? Giving up all left, just ties here? That's funny. I guess, like, the point is you meet something like this in eight? Weird line. Okay, well, you know, the humans are going to play ties in eight here, not six or nine. Nicely held by Vialva. I think Ray attacked the starter well. There, This is higher pressure than what was played. There might be other higher pressure options. Let's just see how many ties there were after various moves. This loses to the combo. That makes a lot of sense. So you didn't have the capture in eight. And then there's all the options in two. Were any of those appealing? A lot of ties there. You don't give up your left power that easily. Two ties here. They're in five and eight. I kind of thought this was a tie here. Why am I wrong? Oh, because you have the, uh, the plus wall in six. Yeah, I missed that. Okay. Um, so this is two ties. This is much worse. Three ties. Okay, not much worse. Eight ties. So I was actually right about the critical move. Go mate, one tie here. Uh, now you might say this is um, easier to find as a tie than the ties are here. There's a case for this as the main move. Because the two ties here are this. No, not that. Um, did I not count? Sorry, that's the size. Ah, this and this. Probably are findable, but not trivial to find. Probably a little annoying to calculate. So I think I was right that this is the main line, but this is also a very testing move. This was a little less testing, and the Elva did very well to hold. And so they tie uh, game one of the finals. 